My name is Chris, uh, 22, turning 23. Currently I'm studying international relations and international business. I just heard about going on exchange for university and then just jumped on board really. I thought it was a good idea. I looked into Europe and the, I just chose a university that I could get my units accredited for. So once you get all your papers in, it's you're very sort of transparent in the sense that you get, you, you get emails from Curtin, you get emails from your host university, um, and you almost have too much information. It gets a bit confusing, which is good at times because you, at least it's all there for you, not sort of going out and searching for it. I did my exchange in Copenhagen. When I first arrived, uh, I was met by my buddy that I'd been paired up with from the host institution. Um, and they met me, took me back to my place, gave me a bit of a show around, but that was about it. Settling in was really fun because you get the university hosts a lot of orientation events, so you're there with a bunch of other exchange students who are all really excited and really wanted to, you know, have a good time and go out and meet everyone. I was with a roommate, so we sort of paired up and went off and explored a little bit before classes started. Yeah, I travelled extensively, so Copenhagen, pretty much travelling every second weekend. Um, so I went to Berlin a handful of times, went to Prague, went to Amsterdam, um, and then over the summer, our Australian winter, European summer, travelled for I think a month and a half, six, six seven weeks, um, and just had an absolute blast. I reckon the people I met was definitely the best thing I got from it. Um, just, you know, just seeing, meeting so many people with different views and different perspectives on life and it just, I think you just come back a lot more humbled um, and knowing that you have these friends that are throughout the world, you kind of just, I don't know, there's just something nice about having that connection with other people. I wasn't expecting to meet so many people and get so, um, have so many good friends out of it as well. I thought it'd be, you go, you meet some people, you leave. You don't really stay in touch and keep talking to them and staying in contact with them years after. I've got still friends I'm in contact with for two years now. I'm heading back over to Europe to see a bunch of them over the break, so every opportunity I get, I get to travel and go see them. Uh, free accommodation's really nice, so <laughs> that's really good. I've always been living under the, my parents' roof, so having to move, go food shopping, cook, deal with doctors, and just figuring out your own finances and everything, yeah, it was a big growing up. I'd like to consider that I have a better view, I guess, or a more rounded sort of view on the world. I know what firsthand other places are like and I've met people with different views and different opinions and it's sort of given me another outlook on life, I guess. So yeah, definitely changed a lot. My advice for people to go on exchange, just say yes to everything. So just, you know, you, you're there for only a shorter period. It might seem like a long period of time at the at start, but then when you look back on it, it's really only four or five months. So just do everything and anything. Um, just really immerse yourself, meet people, travel, eat weird things. That's my advice, just say yes to everything, really.